The fact that the whole key to winning that was figuring out that there was a... Oh, I can swap places with these guys now? Interesting. How do I do that again? Like this? Whap. Whee! Yeah, the whole key to winning that was figuring out that there was a attack you can do by pressing R2 and square. And there was also like so many strange, obscure mechanics like the whole... You want to lose body parts, but only a maximum of two, because if you don't lose any, you don't get to heal, and if you lose too many, you don't get to heal enough. Alright, I should probably put the head back on. Can I have the chalice reward now? I've done a little work on your sword. You should find this a whole lot better. It's enchanted. If it runs out, the spiv will be able to recharge it for you. So I still have to pay for enchantments, okay. Now, was the bombs my other chalice rewards? I think it was. At first I thought it was just something I got for the mission. Should I talk to her? Can I talk to her? No. Well, we won that round quite literally, didn't we? But we're not out of the woods just yet. In fact, at this very moment, I'm picking up two areas of extreme psychic disturbance. One in Whitechapel, the other... It's like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, it's a pity you can't be in two places at once, Dan. Professor, let me go. No, no, it's so dangerous. Well, if she's careful and comes back at the first sign of trouble... Wait. Sir, what is... Dan. You freed me from my tomb. Do not imprison me in another. I wish to see the world, to help in the fight, and I will be careful. Okay, Kia, you go to Whitechapel. Dan, you check out the other disturbance. Alright. I don't like Dan's voice in this. Not, not one bit. Ah, oh, fuck this. Fucking Iron Slugger. Briefing! This is the center of the psychic disturbance. It's a new one to me. All I'm reading is a great, malevolent, slumbering evil. Extreme caution as always, Dan. Oh, and before you go, you might want to use your head on some of those hands over there. Stand over the hand and use your head to see what happens. Yeah, I've done that, but is there any actual reason to do that? Like, can I use it for anything? Are there any cracks or crevices I can make the hands go through? I don't see any obvious cracks or crevices, no. Anything back here? I, I did not mean to do that. I don't think there's any reason for me to do it. I think it's just to demonstrate how it works. Wolfram Hall. Try the second compressor, Dogman. What a strange adversary Fortescue is. He's persistent, I'll give him that. And he certainly has the beating of you two. He also defeated Iron Slugger, Master. He also defeated Iron Slugger. You don't! I've had enough of your slimy whiny get at! <sighs> no matter. I'll call on my allies earlier than expected. Aye, Feldor. Is the time right for my glorious arrival? Oh, yes. The timing is just perfect. <laughs> Come on, we're off. So they still get to go with them, okay. I guess we'll talk to Winston first. Hi, Dan. The entrance seems to be guarded. I'll try and find another way in if I was you. As the professor told you about using hands, stand over one and use your head in the inventory. Try that! I mean, I don't have to use my head in the inventory because I can just use the uh, the button press combination, the L L one triangle. Is that it? There we go. Also, I'm trying a bit of a different sound setup this time around because I've gotten really tired of this current sound setup. I have to do a lot of editing post to fix the audio and make it decent. And uh, over time, that gets old. So let's see what we can do with this hand. My thought would be I would look for a small place to crawl through. I cannot jump, though. I cannot attack. Oh, no, I can jump. Okay, never mind. I'm just pressing the wrong button, as per usual. This seems about right. I probably cannot fight, though. 
Food elevator. Let's go. I have no idea what I'm trying to achieve. I can't see where I'm going. What is that? Is that a little girl? That is creepy as fuck. Give me away, give me away, give me away, give me away, give me away. I don't wanna, I wanna, don't wanna deal with that. I'd lo love to be able to turn my camera to see if she's coming towards me or not. That looks bad. That also looks bad. Here's the chalice. Like, I'm looking for a way to open the doors, right? Oh, fuck, 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 oh, fuck. Don't laugh at me. Am I just back outside again? What's the point of this? I didn't achieve anything. <laughs> and I can't go back in the same way. Come on, game. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, is he gonna throw me out? Is that what the window was for? Was that just somewhere I'd be thrown out if the little girl saw me? Alright. Alright, I get the gist of this. Oh, what's a key in that room, though? Oh, shit, he saw me? What? And he's gonna carry me all the way over there. I wonder if I can pick up uh, this key. The key over there, as a hand. Because if I can, it might be worth trying to distract that guy somehow. Or juke him. It's very hard to know if he sees me. And I can't really turn my camera. Is he coming? Is he coming now? <laughs> oh. Uh, can I even get back out on my own? Let's explore the place, actually. There's a food elevator here that is quite clearly intended for the hand. So there has to be something more for me to do as the hand. Right? And to be honest, I kind of like this whole idea of sneaking around. It's a nice change of pace. Especially considering the last three levels I had to do. Okay, healing. I don't think I need it. I'll take it, though. Oh, I do need it. I def oh, oh, creepy girl. Creepy girl. Uh, I don't see much of use in here. Fuck it, I'll go back outside. Maybe I need to go inside as uh, normal Dan. And do something before I can continue as the hand. I'm curious though, there's a bell here. Does it do anything? Would it have done something if I rang earlier? Okay, ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I knew those guys were coming, but still it scared the shit out of me. There's so many of them, and my camera is not ideal, as usual, but still. <laughs> this is so fair. This is so, I'd love to just get to, you know, face the enemy so I can fight back, but I can't. I can't! I can't turn around! <laughs> I can't turn around reliably. There's no good way of turning around. What the? Action? Action? Which button is action? Okay. So, so the little girl eats my face. That's great. She's unkillable? Oh my god, she's unkillable. <laughs> she's creepy and unkillable. Why doesn't the fucking axe work on these guys? Please let me open my goddamn inventory. This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work, this is not gonna- Fuck it. Oh, I didn't even have any revives, I'm dead. That room sucks. At least this time I can skip the cutscene. Can I get this conversation out of the way? Skip that. That is the same sound as something from Spyro. That poof sound. <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah, an issue I have with this game is I feel like I'm fighting the controls and the camera more than I'm actually playing the game. Which is kind of a shame. Like, in the first room I get into there, I can't do anything to try to fight back. Because the enemies are too many, I can't turn the camera without... Try fuck you. I can't turn the camera without moving. Because if I try to turn the camera by using the controls, then... It just gets stuck in the wall. The camera will get stuck in walls, so I can't turn it normally. So I have to, like, run away and try to get into space where I can have space to turn the camera before the enemies get into position to fuck me up, which is just not happening. I'm stuck in the table. Don't catch me, don't catch me, don't catch me, don't catch me, don't catch me. Give me the key. I didn't go this way, did I? Can I go this way? Maybe. I managed to get on top of this and jump. Well, he didn't want to jump. Time to fight the controls again, I suppose. <gasps> nah, I can't. Let's get out. Uh, let's just have us. Oh, uh, never mind. I can't move. I can't. I can't move. I can't move. I was gonna say let's have him throw us out, but apparently he also kills you. And I still have no revives. And this mission doesn't seem very intent on giving me any healing early on. Which is fantastic. Like, is there actually no healing in the beginning here? Uh... Oh yeah, you can enchant the sword. Uh, just, I didn't want to close. I had the same issue with the previous game in the stories. I clicked the wrong button to return to the previous menu. Um... We're actually good on ammo. Bombs are extremely expensive. 